What's up everyone, this is Mr. King Liam here, and today you join me for an opening of the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Light of Darkness Strata deck. Now, uh, this deck just came out recently, and it is possibly one of the best Strata decks that Konami has made in the last few years. Uh, it focuses on some of the old Diablo cards, uh, as you can see there, and it also features, uh, it's basically a mechanic for the, for the virus cards. So cards like Crush Cards, Deck Dev, and, and cards like that. And yes, this card is also very good for uh, generic dark decks as well. So here's the rule book. Uh, most people know that by now. But here is the here is some of the combos you can do. This uh, I should mention this also has some really good reprints in it, in here as well. And here are also some of the cards you can use to help support the deck. Dark Saviors comes out in May uh, next month. Extreme Forces and Circuit Breakers are out. And then Flaming Destruction is also next month. <clears throat> and then we've also got the, the Playmat. So we've got the three new monsters. You know what? I'm actually going to set that there. And after the deck itself. Now the problem with these is that I always need to destroy them in order to get the deck out. They're buried right at the back. Oh, and uh, I should mention now, each deck now comes with a Dual Links advertisement. Actually, yeah, they should really make those in sleeves, I have to admit. I think that'd be quite nice. Ah, right, it's... Oh, it's backwards, okay. Let's actually get the back. So yeah, it's just some Dual Links advertisement. So here we go. <clears throat> First off, we have uh, Lilith, Lady of Lament. Uh, this is probably the main new card from the deck. Um, so this is uh, effectively your Dark Searcher, and it helps you get out your traps. So uh, if it's normal summoned, its original attack becomes 1,000. A quick effect: you contribute one Dark Monster, reveal three normal trap cards from your deck. Your opponent, really ran your opponent randomly chooses one. Uh, chooses one for you to set on the field and shuffle the rest back into the deck. You can only use the effect of Lilith, uh, Lady of Lampant, once per turn. So, uh, so it's basically a, a normal trap card searcher. I wonder if this could actually work... No, probably couldn't actually. I was just thinking, could this actually work with Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames? But I believe continuous trap... Yeah, continuous traps aren't really normal, so... But uh, anyway, yeah, this definitely this helps you get out your new your trap cards, your uh, virus cards. So it's definitely a pretty good searcher. Then we have the new boss monster. We have uh, Darkest Diablos, uh, Lord Lord of the Lair. So uh, <clears throat> you cannot tribute this face up card on the field and cannot be targeted. Uh, so your opponent cannot tribute this card on the field. That's actually a really good thing, because that means this is resistant against Kaijus, so this is an instant, uh, so Kaijus struggle against this immediately, and cannot cannot be targeted with card effects. You can only use uh, each of these effects once per turn. If a dark monster you control is tributed, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card uh, from the graveyard. If, was that, sorry? If it was there, when you tributed, sorry. As a little bit small in the camera or hand even and the other effect is you can tribute one dark monster your opponent places one card on, from their hand on either the top or bottom of the deck so uh yeah this is a pretty good this is a pretty good dark monster obviously that first effect means kaijus can do nothing against this because uh because it can't be targeted and it can't be tributed by your opponent so that's a really good effect and uh, it can help get <clears throat> it can help help with your dark monsters as well and here is another one of the new cards. Uh, I'm going to try and pronounce this one correctly. Uh, Rim. Ma. <laughs> it's probably, I'm probably pronouncing that terrible, the Wicked Warden. So uh, you can discard this card, add one layer of darkness from your deck to your hand. So that's an, another searcher. You can tribute one dark monster, uh, draw one card. And if you tributed a dark monster other than this card, to activate this effect, you can add one dark monster with 2,000 or more defense from your deck to your hand instead. You can only use this effect of this card once per turn. So this also helps uh, get out your dark monsters as well. So it's a so it's a search for 2,000 defense or lower. So I can actually work out to get Diablos. And it helps to get out the new field spell, which is Lay of Darkness. And a lot of people are talking about this, saying this is this might be the best card in the deck. 
So, all face up monsters on the field become dark. Once per turn, if you tribute it, if you would tribute a monster you control to activate a card effect, you contribute one dark monster your opponent controls, even though you do not control it. Once per turn, during the end phase, special summon as many torment tokens uh, as possible to the turn to the to the turn player's field in defense position up to the monsters tributed this turn while this card is face up. So yes, this helps to uh, convert all monsters into darks, so it can make some of your combos really good. And that also helps with Grinning Grave Virus. <clears throat> Tribute one dark monster with 3,000 or less attack. Your opponent destroys one card of their choice in their hand or deck for every uh, for every 500 attack that monster had on the field. So if you were to tribute Diabolus, there'll be six cards. If you tribute to the monster with 2,000 or more attack to activate this card, look at all cards your opponent draws until the next end of their third turn after this card's activation and destroy all monsters among them. Cards destroyed and sent to the graveyard by this card's effect cannot be activated, can, uh, cannot activate their own effects in the same turn. So this is a really good trap, this is a really good virus card if you're running a, a dark deck. So it can really help burn for your opponent's cards. <laughs> and uh, yes, this is definitely a, a very good virus card. And the, la the last new card in here is Duke Shade, the Sinister Shadow Lord. So you contribute any number of Dark Monsters, special summon this card from your hand. If you do, it gains 500 attack for each monster you, you tribute to. If this is normal special summon, you can target one level 5 or higher Dark Monster in your graveyard. Add that to your hand. <coughs> Excuse me. You can, uh, you can only use each effect of Duke Shade, the Sinister Shadow Lord, once per turn. You cannot special summon monsters the turn you activate. You activate uh, either this card's effect, except Dark Monster. So it's another pretty good Dark Monster in general. So those are the six new cards. Uh, now we get to some of the reprints. So we have uh, a Diabolus, King of the Abyss, uh, Lynch Lord, King of the Underworld, and King of Shadows. Then we have Archfiend Emperor, the First Lord of Horror. Kais the Mega Monarch, uh, a lot of people are saying this is a really good reprint. Um, I can't remember how many times it's been made or if it's only been made once, but yes, um, Kais, uh, good reprint. Uh, then we have Legendary Mar Marju Gazette, Fiend, uh, Vanity's Fiend. Then we have Miss Arch Fiend, Infernal Dragon, Archfiend Calvary, uh, Street Patrol, Phantom of Chaos, Plague Wolf, uh, Fiendish Rhino Warrior, then Cory Bandit. Tall Guy from the Underworld, Absolute Blackjack, and Riddling Karibo. So those are the monsters. <clears throat> now for the spells, we have Recurring Nightmare. A lot of darkness, this is always a good reprint, because uh, this is always going to be worth, uh, this is always going to be a valuable common. Hand Destruction, Foolish Burial Goods. This was a secret rare, I actually did pull this for, uh, from its set. I believe it was Code the Duelist? I think it was Code of the Duelist. But yeah, I remember pulling that secret rare. So nice to see that as a common now. Uh, Boogie Trap, Fires of Doomsday, Veil of Darkness, and now we get Crush Card, uh, Deck Dev, e uh, Epidemic, and Full Force Virus, so you get the four virus cards, plus the new one. Dark Light, I believe that's from Generation Force? Uh, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong about that. I believe it's Generation Force. I think it's one of the early Zexal sets. Uh, Trap of Darkness, Mind Crush, to go with your virus cards, Rise to Full Heights, the Ghost of Darkness, uh, Sinister Yurushu, and a Torment token, which I actually quite like the art on that. So that looks quite nice. So, uh, there was a look at the uh, Layer of Darkness uh, structure deck. Like I said, this is a very good structure deck. This is one of the best structure decks Konami have come out with in years. <clears throat> Um, they've definitely stepped up their structure game deck in the last in the last couple of uh, releases, that's for sure. And uh, yeah, this is a very good, uh, very good deck. Uh, and yes, I probably would recommend picking up three of these because even if you don't plan to build on it, like um, admittedly I don't plan to build this, but there is a lot of good reprints such as Caius, uh, Law of Darkness, and uh, there is some good new cards as well in here. So there was a look at the layer of darkness structure deck. If you enjoyed this opening, then please make sure to uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel to know when my newest content will be coming out, and also be free to check out my other Yu-Gi-Oh! openings as well. 
And if you want to help support uh, Mr. King Liam, then please check out my Teespring page and Patreon.com as well. I hope you've enjoyed this opening, and for now, this is Mr. King Liam, signing out.